What's up guys, Garbage Cuber here back with another video. Today we're gonna be Alex, doing what the f Oh I leave for five minutes and you're opening my cubes? I just thought I could be in the video. What's up guys, Garbage Cuber here back with another video, and today we're gonna be doing a massive unboxing. We're gonna be looking at the Chi Wushua M. The YJ MGC, the Yushin Huang Long, and the GAN 460. Starting off with the Chi Wushua M, I really want to get into 2x2, but I really haven't found one that I really like. When, like when it comes to 3x3, I can think of 5 3x3s that I absolutely love and I absolutely love to solve, but I feel like if I had a 2x2 that I really enjoyed, possibly this one, then I'd be able to really get into 2x2 two two and be more competitive like I am in 3x3. Yeah, so let's just get some first turns here. Yeah, you can really feel the magnets, it's a really tactile feel. And it's also light, which I was really surprised at. I thought this would feel like a really heavy cue with the magnets and also just being a chi puzzle, but... Yeah, this is really nice. I don't really know too many by two algorithms, but let's try that corner cutting. Yeah, I really like this. I feel like this can really get me excited about two by two. Moving on to the MGC, um, what I'm really excited about with this cube is just the fact that this is a very, very inexpensive high quality magnetic 3x3. So let's get this open. So in here we're also given an extra set of springs, which is kind of nice. And some washers in there as well. And we also got some extra magnets, which is kind of nice of them to put in there just in case they fall out or get lost. As you can see in there, we do have white primer on the inside and nice black finish on the outside. It kind of gives me vibes like it's a Yuxiao mixed with a Volk power from just its look. We'll have to see how it feels. And this is a magnetic cube. And remember, this is a budget magnetic cube. So I'm really excited to see if this is any good. This feels awesome. For me, what this feels like, it feels like, if you remember what an Aulong V2 feels like, it feels exactly like a mixture of an Aulong V2 with with the stability and primary feel that you'd get from a Volk Power M. I think this is a really cool idea. It kind of incorporates a lot of old um, 3x3 ideas with some of the newer ones, like primary, um, a little bit of a tighter build that kind of gives you that stability and great corner cutting. Yeah, this is like a really, really neat. And the fact that this is, I believe, $19 Canadian blows my mind. Let's try the corner cutting here. Yeah, amazing. I just really like the design, the feel, the look. This is overall, I think, a really, really exciting three by three to be looking forward to. Moving on to the Yushin Huang Long. I am really, really interested to see how good this puzzle is just because of all the hype about Yushin lately. The MGC kind of blew my mind, so I'm not sure how good this cube is going to have to be for me to be impressed now. So I'm not sure if this is a super fair comparison to 3x3s in general, but yeah, so let's get right into it. So here we've got a pamphlet. Pretty cool. We're also given another set of springs. It looks like there's some ball bearings in there. I'm not sure what that's for. And then, of course, we've got our cube. So I'm not sure if this matters to anybody, but I really, really like the color scheme here. I think that a lot of companies now, like Chi, will use these stickers and they're absolutely gross. And then I have to buy new stickers and re-sticker them. But having nice, full bright stickers right off the bat, I think is a really great way to start. So let's get right into it. 
Okay. It's really light. It feels less airy than the Little Magic, but it does feel insanely light. I'm wondering what would happen if you put in Magnets, would that change it? Oh yeah, I think... So I believe what these ball bearings do is that you can put them inside the corner pieces to weigh down the cube, make it so that the cube's not so light and fast. This kind of feels like a little magic with higher quality plastic. The design is pretty similar. I think that the, the plastic provides less friction um, compared to the little magic. And it's just smoother and higher quality, I believe. So yeah, I think that once I set this up, I'll be able to tell more, but right now I, I don't know how good it is. I think it's pretty decent, but I think that I like the MGC way more right now. Moving on to the next cube here, we have the GAN 460M. This puzzle is going up against competitors like the Chi Wu Chui, which like has been the most popular 4x4 for quite some time now. So let's see if this can actually hold up against it. Well, Alex, it goes on the left side. Uh, not, not this side? Not the right side, the left side. Okay, alright, so like this here. No, that's too fast, you have to go slow and smoothly. <laughs> okay, alright, just like... You know what, Alex, get up, I'm doing this. You get said up. I could do one cube. Though. Yeah, so let's get right into it. So in here we've got a nice Gan bag. These are awesome, I have like five and I love them. We also are given a nice Gan pamphlet on 4x4 stuff. I believe that there is a lot of algorithms in here, including parity, which is awesome. Um, this is pretty embarrassing, but I actually completely forgot how to do OLL parity, and I can't find the algorithm that I had memorized before, and it's really frustrating me, so hopefully this will help me out a lot. We've also got a tensioning tool. Let's get this open. Let's try it out. Wow. Yeah, so these outer layers with these magnets turn absolutely amazingly. I don't really know how you can make them turn better. Like it just Way better than Moyu, way better than Chi. Those outer layers, classic Gan turns. The question is, how good are the inner layers? Yeah, this is locking up a lot for me, unfortunately. My thinking is that Maybe by lubing it and setting it up, the inner layers will get a lot better, but right now they're just pretty prone to locking up, unfortunately. It might also be the tensions. I feel like this is pretty compact and tight. I'm wondering if the magnets will allow me to loosen it a bit without losing too much control. We'll have to see with that. But yeah, like I'm just super impressed with the feeling of this cube. In a 4x4, I think this is definitely a huge step in the right direction. But also, I think we need to appreciate how beautiful this puzzle is. This is like the coolest, most beautiful, most expensive puzzle I've ever owned. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, like the magnets are externally placed. So you can kind of see there's like a glass layer between the outside of the piece and the magnet, you can just view that, it's just beautiful. Like amazing hardware, amazing design. We also have that honeycomb design that we saw in the SM. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so with the GAN 460, I have to say that I'm really, really impressed and excited for what is to come with GAN. Hey guys, Alex from CanQ back. Uh, don't let garbage know, but I just wanted to show you these new uh, cubes right here. These are our maple puzzles. And Garbage was taking a look at the MGC and the Huanglong. And we actually offer both of those in maple version on CanCube. So we solve a bit of the issues that these puzzles have. The Huanglong here is magnetized by us. And the MGC is factory magnetized. Both of them we put a mixture of heavy silicones in and then put some speedy lubricant to break that up and make it a lot less gummy. Um, but both of these cubes are really 
really phenomenal. Like I was surprised by how top tier uh, both Yushin and YJ uh, ended up being. The MGC did end up being my my go-to. This is my main right now. Uh, but you know, if you did want to spend a bit more money, the uh, Yushin Huanglong here is a really good option. And then in addition, we get a lot of requests for uh, the Maple 460. So that will probably be up on the site at some point. Uh, but speaking of the site, you know, why don't we talk a bit about CanCube. Uh, in the upcoming rest of the year, I've got a three-pronged approach that we're going to be doing. We're going to be focusing a lot more on competitions. Oh, we're going to be... I said no plug. Oh, sh